the wait is over. We have found safe ice on a little bit of a bigger lake and we're switching it up. No more stock trout. We were chasing one of my favorite species through the ice, the black crappie in Northwest Ontario. Um, we checked the ice every step as we went out. It's not consistent. You have to check every step. Things can happen so fast. Once again, I'm gonna keep mentioning the ice safety video linked below guys. Gotta be safe, gotta be safe. Please, please take all the precautions. Ice picks, floating suit if you have it. I got this in reach. I told my wife Sam where I'm at. Like everything, just stack the odds in your favor. Enough talking, we're gonna drill some holes. Hopefully find some mud basin crappies. Here we go. All right guys, we got some holes popped. These are our two setups. We got the dinner bell, little jig and spoon, and then we got the tungsten jig. Um, jig and spoon on the dipstick, the 39 light. And this is the Pantastic. This is the 29 ultra light. This one I haven't really used too much, but we're fishing like four pound braid on both of these with a like a five pound fluoro leader. Uh, I'm not really sure how big the crappies are in this lake, but we are gonna catch a couple for dinner. We got like an hour to fish. I'm just so excited. The ice is forming. These cold nights have been what I've been hoping for. And uh, every night can add so much, especially on this nice clear ice. We're about, I don't know, between three and four inches here of good clear ice, but the areas where there's snow, the ice is not as good. So that's why you gotta check as you go. I'm gonna keep reminding you guys, live scope's going in and we're gonna hopefully find some fish. All right, we're recording. There's two fish right there. It's gonna be a little distant, but sun is setting. We are looking for our first crappie of the year. We got that little tungsten jig. There's some perch down there, but I think those are bigger. Oh, he's coming at me. He's coming towards me. Look at this, he's chasing fast. Oh, just lost him. Might have been a small crappie, I'm not sure. He's gonna up that gain a little bit. Look, he's chasing up. I'm just lifting it away. He's swimming up to it. Another fish, that one's swimming real fast. Look how small this fish is, guys. You will not believe how small this fish is. That is what we're talking about right there. First ice. That's the trend right now. Micro fishing. These really tiny jigs kind of less is more. You don't really want to do too much. When I get it down near them, I'm just kind of holding it in place. There's more fish down there though. I'm hoping there's a couple crappies, but we're going to keep moving. We're going to make the most of this last 45 minutes. All right, I'm going to put this transducer in the forward orientation. I'm going to do a scan over here and see, you know, 50, 60, 100 feet in front of me and see if I can find a couple fish. Cause right now these are marking small. So that gives me confidence the crappies are going to mark bigger. Oh, we're close to some fish right here. I'm gonna put this back down. So basically where crappies like to hang out, at least in the North Country, a lot of them do in the winter time is the deep basins. So if a lake has like a 15 foot is the deepest spot or 30 feet is the deepest spot, they'll often congregate in these deeper holes. They're often like a mud bottom. They can eat lots of bugs, lots of vertebrates. And that's just a holding spot. And that's also what makes crappies kind of volatile in the winter. Kind of want to be careful because if, I mean, if you're keeping all the big fish, you can deplete a population potentially. So catch release is so important with, with big crappies. And um, that's why people are protective of the crappie spots because people think, oh, I'm gonna keep the bigger ones. There's more meat on them, but you end up ruining the population. So yeah, focusing on the deeper water today, we're in 25 to 32 feet. We're gonna be keeping most of the fish we catch, I think, unless we happen to catch a really big one, but um, looking for some dinner. He's right underneath me. Oh baby, he's coming up. He's gonna eat it. What is it? Just barely, barely. Got him, got him. We were hooked up. Oh no! Ah, lost him. He's still there, I can still see him swimming away. Don't know if I'm gonna get another chance. There's a fish swimming towards me, like super slowly, right there, and he's just, I don't know. Guess I'll wait for him. Maybe I'll pound in the mud and that'll, he'll feel that. This one's promising. There's the fish. There's my lure. He's just slowly coming. I think once he gets closer, he'll pick up the speed a bit, but he's just slowly drifting in. So I'm just doing like very slow movements with the tip now, not trying to do anything that's gonna potentially scare him. And now when he gets close, depending on his mood, I'm gonna start pulling it away from him, just lifting. Lifting, see so how he's lifting off the bottom? Got him. So cool, I think. We might have our first crappie of the day. We might be eating some slabs for dinner. So cool seeing them through the ice. Oh, that's a nice fish. There we go. First crappie of the winter. All right, there we go. Hey, not big, but it's an eater. First crappie of the season on a little tungsten frostbite jig and that is going in the frying pan.
Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish down there. Just right near bottom. You can see him just slithering there, and he might be just a little off to the side, so we'll see. I want three, three crappies for dinner. Jig falling, crappie swimming towards me. I'm gonna stop it above because they like to typically feed up a little bit. This fish, the mark is getting thicker. This is perfect. Guys, this is perfect. I'm gonna just keep it a little bit above. I'm just gonna pound it on the spot. And once he starts to charge, look at this, he's starting to charge a little bit. Then I'm gonna lift it away from him. You can just tell when he's about to make commitment. There's another fish flickering on the other side. Look at this, look at this. He's about to eat it. He's about to eat it. Ooh. See how he just got spooked away there? He's still there, he's gonna come back. Oh, come on. I like that there's two fish. They're like feeling they need to race for that jig. He's gonna eat it. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm pumped. Guys, crappie through the ice is like one of my favorites. My line is freezing. I'm really struggling right now. Try not to get it too tangled in the deucer. Nice, there we go. All these fish we're keeping because we're in 32 feet of water. We're not releasing these guys, but they just inhaled the jigs. Boom, number two. And there's more down there. This is the little jig. It's making it happen right there. And we got more fish. Just crappies, I don't know, they just like to turn on at this time of night when you're losing your light. And there's multiple fish down here. There's a couple of fish there, I just turned the deucer a bit. Look at this, two fish sliding in on the bottom there. They're not suspending. Sometimes crappies will suspend way off the bottom and that's what makes them such a good fish to watch on the flasher. But uh, these are kind of slinking along the bottom and then they're kind of coming up at the end. Not incredibly aggressive, not the ones you want that just come up snapping. Guys, I've seen spots before in, you know, 30 feet of water, 40 feet of water, you can catch fish. It's a great spot to catch dinner. But if you're gonna catch 40 fish and release them all, they're gonna go belly up under the ice. They might kick away, but uh, I've been shocked sometimes how shallow those fish will go belly up. So just keep that in mind with where you're fishing. Look at this, you can just see something crawling along the bottom right there towards me. It's gonna be pretty tough to see. And a fish on the left crawling towards me. This is good. I'm just gonna keep my jig like a foot off bottom, pretty tight. And hopefully these fish meet on the middle. We got one coming in on the right, one coming in on the left. He's right on it. Here we go. Number three. That was our goal. Three crappies. This one is probably gonna be too small to eat. We'll see. We'll probably take some, probably take them home and uh, since we're catching them from deeper water anyways. Oh no, that's a good eater. There we go. Quick little evening sesh in Northwest Ontario. We've got three crappies and uh, we're gonna be eating good tonight. Guys, thank you for following along on another adventure. Um, yeah, it's just great to be able to get out for a couple hours here and there, check some lakes. I can't wait till there's enough ice to you know, take the quad, take the snowmobile out, but uh, we are, we're far from that yet. But all these cold nights are adding a lot of ice. Tonight's gonna be another great night. I checked this lake a couple days ago and it like added another inch plus. So feeling good about that. And uh, you know, just happy to have some fish for dinner. Another adventure in God's country. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Ice videos, probably like three videos a week, two videos a week. I don't know, we're gonna do a lot this winter and uh, I think we're gonna be staying close to home for a lot of it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.